Hello and welcome! Maestro number one, or I'm sorry, Maestro World War M number one. And um, it's a comic book! Yeah! It's an American made comic book by Marvel. Really great cover. Uh, there's not really this much action in the book. There's like multiple brief sections of action, but no like one big, like major fight scene with all these people in it. When we start out, we're actually starting in what looks like, you know, the Soviet Union. You got uh, the Abomination here. And he's bullying Bruce Banner. Now, you may go, huh, that's weird, because Bruce Banner is the maestro. Yeah, it's a little crazy. Anyway, that's because the Abomination, much like the maestro, has been trapped inside of an aim lair. Yeah. So, you could also remember the end of the last miniseries, where the, uh, whatever those people's name were, the, the ones that were all named after, like, Greek heroes, were launching missiles and stuff, right? Like, you might remember that happening. And so there's missiles headed towards this place. So, Modoc is like, yo, Emil, Emil, however you want to pronounce that, go get me, you ready for this? Vengeance. Yeah. So I'm already like, this is pretty cool. And then it gets cooler. There's a fight scene here. Between, uh, which page do I want to show? I guess we'll show this two-page spread here. There's a fight scene between the Abomination and a bunch of Atlanteans with their super tech guns and flying suits and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, he's having a good time just beating him up. I mean, he's a gamma-powered mutant creature thing. He'd be a mutate, right? In Marvel terms? He'd be a mutate, not a mutant. Or a mutate's mutant set... <clears throat> He's a game of powered monstrosity, just like the Hulk. Now, of course, the Abomination, unlike the Hulk, doesn't get stronger as he gets madder. Like, that's the Hulk's thing, so that's why the Hulk can always overcome his enemies. The Abomination is just always set, like, right here. And the Hulk can go, whoosh, up past that. Of course, some Hulks are stronger than others, you know, like the Professor versus Grey Hulk, ver you, know, you know, but whatever. Hulk gets mad, beats people up. It's a good time for everybody involved in the situation. And the Abomination here, throwing a uh, Ferris wheel as a weapon, I really appreciated that. The art in the book is pretty nice. Uh, every now and then it verges a little bit on like some Uncanny Valley type stuff, like, he looks maybe just a little too, uh, too real, kind of like some of those, uh, Marvel Star Wars books, where they're trying to make the cast of the main characters, you know, like Han Solo and stuff, actually look like the actors, and they're clearly kind of maybe tracing a little bit. I don't know that this was traced, and I'm not accusing him of that, but it kind of gives me that same vibe of, uh, it's a little too close to realistic, especially when you kind of compare it to, you know, how the Abomination looks. Like, there's just absolutely no realism there, because why would there be? He's just a big, green monster. So that all goes down. You got Namor the Submariner coming in, being like, yo, dude, we should party. We check in on Doctor Doom. Let me find, uh, you know, some stuff with him. He's talking to Rick Jones. And we've got, uh, well, just... Some fire. There you go. So all the characters that were actually on the cover of the book are in the book. They're just not fighting in this way. And you know what? Given the state of truth in advertising for comic books, that's pretty much like a big win. I have a feeling that this book, like the other Maestro miniseries, is going to start out with me going, boy, this is a great setup. This is a lot of fun. Because that's how I feel about what I've read here. This is a great setup. This is a lot of fun. And then I have this feeling that uh, next issue, well, it'll probably still be fun the next one, but like the third issue, I'm going to be kind of like, and this is where the maestro pulls like BS out of his buttocks and magically wins. Instead of us having a great fight, he does something goofy and suddenly he wins. Uh, just like his fight with Hercules. He poisons Hercules. He doesn't fight Hercules. 
dude lasers resurrected Hades powered Hercules instead of them getting to fight. Like, we were robbed in the last miniseries. And I'm a little bit worried we're going to get robbed in this miniseries too. There's only one way to find out, and that is to read the book. So here I am with the book. I just read this one. I'm probably going to read the rest of the miniseries as it comes out. And I'm probably going to let you know how it goes. You all take care of yourselves. You have a great day, great night, great whatever you got going on. Hope to see you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.